My name is Stavi. I'm the owner operator here at NM Fungi. So I've been growing mushrooms for about 10 years now. Um, we opened up NM Fungi this year in May, beginning our operations. Uh, I'm the owner, operator, and yeah, responsible for all the growth around here. Uh, my passion in mycology started right around high school, just studying the key differences between fungal growth and plant life, and uh, really all the benefits that mushrooms could provide in our diet, from both high protein content to various uh, amino acids, beta-glucans, all sorts of great nutritional benefits we can get from them. My influences include in my earlier days, people like Paul Stamets really leading the community, um, Trad Cotter, and I actually studied uh, commercial cultivation with Willie Crosby from Fungi Ally. Uh, great source of information from him. And we're really excited to begin our operations here. Uh, in our early stages here, we've been focusing primarily on grain spawn expansion. So we purchased all of our grain spawn from uh, Southwest Mushrooms in Arizona and have been expanding those out into subsequent generations of grain from which all of our mushrooms are gonna be growing. Our primary species that we'll be growing include oyster mushrooms, a few variants thereof. We have uh, a blue-green oyster, we have a golden oyster, and we have uh, a pink oyster. We'll be looking at other species in the future as well. Um, we're doing shiitake, always a classic. Uh, we're looking at lion's mane, which is really, really an interesting area of um, research right now where they're actually discovering its long-term benefits for patients with Alzheimer's and uh, any sort of neurodegeneration dementia. Uh, we also grow piapino mushrooms and we'll be expanding into a few others seasonally like our chestnut mushrooms and enoki and really all the fine varieties of gourmets. When a lot of people think about mushrooms, they think of your classic criminies or white buttons that you get from the grocery store grown on a commercial level and nothing wrong with them, just fairly basic from a nutritional standpoint and growth standpoint. Uh, we really focus on a lot of the more gourmet and medicinal species here. Um, we also plan to be growing reishi and a few other uh, medicinal mushrooms to be used for making tinctures and extracts. While our gourmets are primarily designed to be sold at our local grocery stores here in New Mexico, uh, as well as restaurants around the Albuquerque and Santa Fe area. The growth of fungus in mycology uh, really piqued my interest in late high school, really learning to understand both their essential role in the ecosystem and the key differences in their growth from both animals and plants. The wide nutritional and medicinal benefits offered by the fungal kingdom was unlike anything I'd really discovered before. Uh, even in the plant world with all of its variety, there's a lot of key ingredients and especially amino acids and beta-glucans that we can only derive from fungal species. So the scene is really exploding in the Denver area. Um, just in general, Colorado is growing a lot just north of us. But there's a heavy focus on medicinal research up there. Um, in the Denver area, they've also decriminalized psilocybin mushrooms, so there's a lot of cultivation of those species as well and understanding their potential applications in both uh, therapeutic settings uh, as well as home settings. Another key player real popular here in the Southwest is uh, Mike Crow uh, with Southwest Mushrooms out of Phoenix, Arizona. He was definitely a huge inspiration for me in taking on uh, an adventure like this here in the desert where fungal life is fairly minimal and not usually visible in our common landscapes. Um, mushrooms do require high humidity and more temperate um, environments. So here in our dry hot desert with you know very little shade, we don't really see a lot of fungal growth. Uh, that's why we actually grow in this indoor environment here to provide our mushrooms with the humidity and temperature ranges that they need. Uh, in the early stages of pinning, most mushrooms require around 95% humidity, which is just unheard of here in New Mexico. So most mushrooms don't actually ship very well. They have a fairly short shelf life and can encounter all sorts of issues like overcondensation or breakage in packaging. So our goal here is to provide our local community with fresh gourmet mushrooms of an extremely high quality without any of the associated um, downfalls of having it shipped in from out of state. Mushrooms actually do, the gourmet species we grow, actually pair very well with our state's local crop, green red chile. Um, everything from stews to uh, barbecues and all sorts of applications really. We're intending on having 
uh, a cooking competition through social media coming up uh, where we're going to be asking local chefs, uh, amateur and professional, to submit their recipes and photos of dishes that incorporate both our gourmet species as well as either green or red chili because there really is so many incredible options to explore and locally grown produce tends to go best together. So all of our mushrooms that we grow here are completely organic from start to finish. So we start them out on rye berry grain and move them on to either master's mix or shiitake fruiting mix, uh, depending on the species. Um, we don't use any pesticides here. We don't use any sort of insecticides, antifungal treatments, any sort of alternative chemicals that would bleed into the actual produce itself. Uh, so really all of our key nutritional benefits are entirely natural from these mushrooms. We began our operations in May and are really excited to start offering our fresh produce here in about a month. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about us or see our journey, you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at NMFungi or just NMFungi.